About a year ago I did a houseplant tour and it's about time that I updated you guys on all of my plants because since then some have died, I've gotten new ones, and a lot have had super duper growth spurts. So let's get started. The first plant is my rubber plant. Ignore how dull the leaves look, I have to give them a wipe down, they've got some water stains on them. It's doing pretty good, it hasn't given me too many leaves, but it's not dying so that's good. The next two are my American rubber plants. I have a variegated one here and then just like a normal green one. I love these, they're great foliage and they're just really easy to take care of. Then we have a Peperomia Hope. This is a really interesting plant. I'm hoping to get um, some wire so that I'm able to kind of just like shape how the vines are growing. Then we have my prayer plant. It definitely was doing a lot better last year. I think my hard tap water has been kind of burning it, but I've since switched it to this long box because it was putting out aerial roots, which I learned that if they go into the dirt, they will just put out more leaves. So that is kind of what ha is happening. You can see right here, this is um, a leaf that a root has put out. <laughs> Next up, we have my beautiful rubber plant, Ruby. I love this one and it pull, puts out so many leaves. This is a new leaf and this is a, there's a new one literally coming out of the sheath. <laughs> like, it's going crazy. Then we have one of my recent favorites and this is my elephant ear. This thing grows so freaking fast. This is a brand new leaf and it's huge. This was like a leaf it put out last week and there's already a new leaf coming right here. Then because I needed more space for plants, I decided to hang a curtain rod in front of my west window. So we have a couple of brand new plants that you've never seen before on there. So the first one is the string of turtles. I absolutely love string plants. The next one beside that is a satin pothos. Um, it looks a little short because I recently did a clipping so that I could propagate it and make it thicker. <laughs> and then we have a string of arrows. Love this plant. If you cut pieces off it, it like immediately will start a new strand. So I've been chopping pieces off it left and right and it's just been growing like a weed. Then we have the string of dolphins. Love this one, looks like little tiny dolphins. Then we have my Hoya Crimson Princess, which I have another one I'll show in a bit, and I am thinking of combining them into the same pot. And then lastly, this is the only one that you've seen last year, and that is my lipstick plant. If you're like, holy cow, it grew so much. <laughs> That's because um, I made my mom give me a giant clipping off of her plant. <laughs> Then kind of in the corner, I have this three-tier macrame hanger. Starting at the bottom, we have a Hawthoria, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this used to be in a south window and it got so burnt. So um, I moved it here and it's doing <laughs> much, much better. Then above that one, we have a basket plant, which is, um, it's part of the Trade Scantia family, which I have another one of those I'll show you later. And then above that, we just have a common ivy or other known as a German ivy, and this thing is going crazy. It's so pretty. Now for the plants behind me. Starting off with my orchid. As you can see, it actually has a new uh, stem coming up and there's gonna be blooms coming soon. I'm so excited about that. Next, we have a Christmas cactus. And if you didn't know, there's actually three types of these. There's the Christmas cactus, Easter cactus, and Thanksgiving cactus. What's really cool is typically they will bloom during those seasons. So then I have my Thanksgiving cactus, and this one should bloom around October, November time. Next, I have my money tree. This was doing so good last year, you guys, and then winter hit, and it was not happy about the humidity in my home, and it pretty much dropped all of its leaves. So these leaves you see here are brand spanking new, so it's been doing good since then. A little bit worried again for when winter comes. Next, I have my two lollipop plants and uh, they look a little bit different. This one is, I don't know, they're not doing that hot. Um, I mean, they could look worse, honestly. This one sits back here and this one actually sits in the pet room um, and it looks like it's gotten a little bit burnt, which is interesting because it doesn't get like 
direct, direct sunlight. So that's how these are doing. And then right above me in another macrame hanger, we have the Hoya Pubicalyx. And this one has been doing really, really good. It's so easy to propagate and just make thicker and thicker. I love it. Moving on to the south window, we just have a couple of plants there. First up being a Hoya Compacta. I love this one because it has such compact leaves. It's literally supposed to look like this. It's just, it's so cute. Then I have one of my snake plants. I don't know what this one is exactly called. Um, I just know that it's got a different variegation than the other ones, but it's doing really good too. And then this is my other snake plant with the green <laughs> variegation. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it's looking like this. And then we have a yucca in the window and I think it has actually grown so much since the last time you guys saw it. I think it's definitely got a lot more foliage. Also, these leaves are so sharp, they keep smacking you in the face. <laughs> then also in the south window, we have a baby sunrose plant. It's looking not as good as it did last year because it did get some aphid damage. I did have to trim it up a bit and throw some bits away, but other than that, it's doing pretty good. And then the plant that was hitting me in the head the entire time was just one of my birds of paradises. Um, you can see here, um, this one's gotten really big. It's literally almost the same height. It might be, it might be a little taller than me, which I am 5'4", for anybody wondering. On my desk area, I just have two plants currently. The first one being my ZZ plant, and this thing has gotten uh, really big, and it just put out a brand new leaf, which I was shocked because some people don't have them put out new leaves for like ages. And then the other plant on my desk is my ginseng ficus, which often gets mistaken for a bonsai, but it is not. Um, and it is growing some big leaves out here. I used to cut these off, but now I'm just like, you know what? You do you. So then I have my other Birds of Paradise, which is doing really well. As you can see, it has a brand new leaf here, unfurling. And then straight above me in another macrame hanger, I have a golden pothos plant. And it's doing remarkable. If you ever want a really easy, fast growing plant, pothos is for you. Then on this west window, I have a couple of different plants. So I have another Hoya Crimson Princess. Uh, like I said, I'm thinking of combining this one with the other one and maybe putting a metal thing for it to climb around. Um, in my pet room, I do have that lollipop plant, but I also have another Trade Scantia. Um, and this one is a variegated one. It's uh, a little bit crispy, but it is still really pretty. And then over here, we just have a Silver Sword Philodendron. This one, I may need to check the soil because recently this, <laughs> it had a leaf that just went completely squishy, which I've never seen in a plant like this, but um, it, uh, it might have too much water currently because this pot doesn't have a hole in it. And then, as you may know, I had a Monstera. It unfortunately did not make it through the winter. It got really, really bad pests, so I had to toss it into the bin. But Superstore was selling these Monsteras that were like basically abused because the amount of root bound it was was insane. But look at how beautiful this was <laughs> for $5 literally amazing and it's got beautiful split leaves. Now we move into my bedroom where a lot of my cactuses and succulents reside. First up we have my big boy fiddle leaf fig. I love this guy. Right now he is putting out some new leaves like right there, right here. I think there's some down here. Um, he definitely doesn't look as full as last year. He did lose some leaves over the winter. He is very dramatic. Um, but he's he's doing fine. Like, he's living his life. Then I have my string of pearls. You guys would not believe how fast this thing freaking grew. Like, look at it. It is literally like hair. I cannot believe the length of this thing. <laughs> then below those two plants, I have a double flaming flowered Katie, <laughs> which is a big name. Um, this came from some cuttings from my mom's plant and this plant does flower. Next up I have an aloe vera plant and for a while it wasn't doing too good. Um, as you can see some of these leaves are funny and it's kind of crooked but it is growing some babies so I assume it is doing 
pretty decent. And then beside those two, I have my ghost plant. Um, so it was doing so, so good. It was growing very big. Um, and then I decided to put neem oil on it and it got burnt and um, so now it just looks very tragic. There is a leaf that fell off. I'm gonna start a brand new one. I could possibly just cut the top off and kind of sprout it from the start. I'm considering that, but then we have my string of buttons. This one has grown quite a bit, but the coloring of it has definitely changed. I had it up there for a while and I think it was just getting too much light, so I've put it a little bit lower um, away from the light, so hopefully it does better. So I have these two succulents that I showed you guys last year and they have grown quite a bit since then. I have my patchy varia succulent and this one is also doing really well. It's grown quite a bit since the last time you've seen it. Next up is my springtime crassula. Look at all of the blooms. I repotted it to a much, much, much bigger pot and it is just, it's growing like a weed. Then we have my bunny ear cactus. This has grown so much since I last showed you it. I am like at disbelief at the amount of ears it has put out. Then I have this bunny ear cactus, which has also put out ginormous ears. They just, they grow so fast sometimes. And then my last bunny ear cactus, this one has also grown quite a bit, but not quite as much as the other ones. And then the last of my cactuses, I have a golden barrel cactus. This thing grows too many babies, honestly. I've been plucking babies off and I no longer have enough people to give them to, so. <laughs> I don't know what to do with all these cactuses. And then we have my split rock and it is just so cute. I think a fun fact about these is that I'm pretty sure they are pretty much dormant in summer and they do their growing mostly in the winter time, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, this is an insane growth uh, for this. This is my mother of thousands. I used to have two, one didn't make it, but this one, this one's a big boy compared to 10 months ago when I filmed that last plant video. Still in that rock hard dirt too, which is insane. It just loves concrete dirt. 